for all people across the country who, who have one question that they're asking, why are we looking at COVID again? Perhaps COVID has been won. Why is anybody hyping these cases? Is that really the case? The vaccines are out or now everybody's safe. The answer is no, we aren't safe. COVID hasn't gotten away and we are very much in the midst of a second wave. Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor has the details, brings you the numbers of where India stands. Sonal. That's right. Like, look at the numbers. For example, today, the numbers have hit the worst or perhaps it has not been this bad since December. Remember, that was post Diwali, post all the marriages happening, unlock happening. That's the kind of surge that we saw then. And today we've been able to match that. Overall, India has jumped up and crossed about 25,000 mark. And that is a issue. And that is a thing that should concern you, not panic you, but at least concern you. So what we have for you right now, like Vishnu said, are numbers over here, the 10 worst hit states. And remember, all these account to about 90% of the country's cases. Of course, top of the chart is going to be Maharashtra. Look at that number, 15,561 over there. Now, Maharashtra alone contributes to about 60% of what we're seeing in the country so far. Next up is actually Kerala. See that number over here, about uh, 1,800 over there. But though it's still in second in our ranking, Kerala is actually one of those which is showing a decline in the trend compared to the other states that you're looking at at the moment. Punjab, huge concern, something that the Prime Minister also highlighted today in his meeting with the Chief Ministers. Also, uh, concern at this point is Madhya Pradesh over here, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Gujarat. 700, and if that number is not clear, 789 cases coming in from Gujarat as well. Major concerns and the number of fatalities there, both in Punjab and Gujarat, are turning out to be a matter of concern. Something that the Prime Minister today also highlighted. So these are numbers. Remember, it impacts everything. It impacts schooling as schools could be shut down again. It impacts markets. It also impacts the stock market, for example. So once you understand the numbers, let's look at how are we doing when it comes to the second wave altogether? You see the peak over here, right down between August and October, middle way over there. And then you see the constant spike. Again, the area that I talked about around December that time. And then we are here at the moment, 25,147 cases. This is the average daily cases, remember. And amidst of all of this, there's a fascinating another story that is emerging. And that is a story about vaccines. And you heard right there the health ministry official also talking about it. Now look at this chart. Domestic doses, so much lower than the amount that India is actually exporting. The worrying figure over here is that even with this number, there is vaccine wastage that is happening. Something that again was highlighted today and something we must all keep in mind.